This is the Delivery Man gunshot sequence, and we have two corrections, a, a gunshot flare uh, and a correction for uh, the blood sequence uh, that is also in the gunshot sequence. Camera set and action. Got a lot of bulls coming in here telling me well, to do you're going to fucking job. kill a guy. You lied to me, well, you all right? You made me compromise my system. You know what? Fuck this. So let's look at those areas the director desired uh, corrections. Camera set and action. Now, got a lot of bulls coming in here telling me well, to do you're gonna fucking job. kill a guy. You Take a look for the you know, circle that's going to show right hey. now. And um, this is actually where the director wanted the uh, shot, gunshot to be enhanced. Uh, what we're going to do is just that we are going to brighten the shade area. Uh, but we don't want to brighten the door and we don't want to brighten the shadow uh, to give the appearance that there is a uh, gunshot behind the door. We're going to use three frames. This is what the director required and it's just long enough to give the idea that there was a, uh, a gunshot. And then the sound of the gunshot will be added later. I want you to take note of the door. I'd like you to take note of the uh, shadow of the man who's behind the screen. We're going to need to create masks for the door, and the screen, and the man. Now take a look at the blood. Note that the blood is very thin, very transparent. Uh, we use fake blood. It's basically uh, dyed water, but uh, with a little bit of gelatin added to it. But it needs to be made thicker. It needs to be made darker. Um, even though the film was put into black and white, it just does not look like blood. Let's look at the blood and the hand um, with a close-up. We're moving to the right. Soon the hand will reach up. And there now you can see more clearly that the color of the blood simply is not dark enough. It's too transparent and uh, doesn't look thick enough. So let's take a look how it was done in Shake. This is the tree. And these are all the nodes that were used uh, to create the two effects. At the uh, top is our source video. And we created uh, two roto shapes uh, to block out the areas that are required. And these are the uh, color replace nodes, which are used to enhance the uh, uh, the color uh, to make it look like a shot, uh, like a gunshot in the background. This is our original background. And again, as I mentioned, we're going to create two mats. This mat is used to block out the door and to outline the areas we want the flash to occur. This mat is the mat of the man behind the screen, and that mat is going to be used to stop the enhancement of the gunshot that we'll see in the uh, right portion of the uh, screen. So we put the mat up close. I see those regions that we're going to uh, mat out. And then here's the mat to block out the mat, so to speak. Note that it's roughly shaped like the man behind the screen. So as you can see, we have the enhanced flash. Note that the, the door and the shadow 
um, look like they're on this side and the flash looks like it's occurring uh, in the background behind the door. So let's take a look at these side by side. Camera set and action. Now, got a lot of coming in here telling well, me to do you're going to fucking job. kill a guy. You lied to me, well, you all right? You made me compromise my system. You know what? Fuck this. So hopefully you saw the flash and you saw the uh, darkened uh, blood on the uh, window. So let's look at it uninterrupted. Camera set and action. Now, this got a lot of wolves coming in here telling me well, to do Well, you're going to fucking job. kill a guy. You lied to me, well, you all right? You made me compromise my system. You get out of the you know what? Fuck this. So very subtle, but nonetheless, it, uh, it gave the uh, idea that there was a gunshot, and we also made the uh, fake blood look more like blood. Thank you for your time.